The rare sight in the Midwest, flamingos spotted in Wisconsin. These birds were seen relaxing in the waters along Lake Michigan today. For the last few weeks, people all over Florida have been treated to that same rare sight, pink flamingos in the wild. And even right now, there are reports of the rose-colored birds hanging around in the Florida Keys. So why is this happening? Janine Stanwood went on a bird watch. See him? Right over there. We are on a quest to see what everyone's talking about. And we hit the jackpot. Rare, elusive, and gorgeous wild pink flamingos right here in the Florida Keys. So this is incredible. We just pulled over on the overseas highway. We are on the west end of the Seven Mile Bridge. And check this out, right over there, just wading in the water, three pink flamingos. We soon had company on the side of the road. We were coming home and my wife saw Sunshine Key and she said, that's where my friend saw the flamingos. And we, I said, look for a salt marsh. And we looked down there, we saw them, went home, got my camera and came back here. This is what Florida used to be like, or the Keys at least. You know, these birds fly across water great, great distances. And they make crossings between, say, Cuba and the Yucatan. Jerry Lorenz with Audubon Florida tells us the reason flamingos started showing up, they were likely blown in by Hurricane Adalia. I think the birds were probably making that crossing. The storms kept getting bigger. They kept trying to go around it and didn't make it. And it just rode along with the storm till it, till it landed in Florida. And then they fell out to either side of the storm. Incredibly, since the storm, there have been reported sightings all over the country, including Ohio, Pennsylvania, and the Carolinas, though most landed here in the Sunshine State. Like this flamingo named Peaches, found floating and tired off St. Pete Beach. Lorenz got word and permission to ban peaches so he can track its movement. I was there with that bird in hand, um, and they're just stunning. And now it's um, people are taking pictures of it and reporting it to me. Although the pink flamingo has been associated with Florida and pop culture for years, most of us only see them in captivity. That's because the birds were hunted to nearly extinction about 100 years ago, coveted for their meat as a delicacy and their feathers as fashion. Things have changed. With Everglades restoration and all conservation lands, state parks, uh, national wildlife preserves, things like that, um, you know, they got a lot of habitat that's protected. Scientists hope the longer these rose-colored creatures stick around, the greater chance they have to call this home once again. You know, our hope with this group is that, that this is the foundation, but we're hoping they'll find that they like it here and stay. Um, and maybe even someday nest, and we'll have our own population. In Ohio Key, Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. So amazing. Scientists at Audubon, Florida are working overtime and collecting data on all of these flamingo sightings.